I'm Deborah Borchart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The rain has forced us inside for this week's taping, but we're not complaining. As we know, our friends and our colleagues in California could use the rain that we're getting here on the East Coast. You are in our thoughts, my friends. This week, the USDA released a draft for the regulation of hemp in the U.S. Now, once the rules are released, they will be temporary for the first year. This will, though, allow states to participate in cultivation and processing for the 2020 growing season. The rules also cover other important things like where hemp can be grown, THC testing standards, biomass transportation, licensing regulations, and more. MedMen had a really rough week. The company reported earnings, and while they wanted the market to focus on the full year revenue of $130 million, which is a good number, it was the $277 million in net losses that caught everyone's attention. And in addition to that, Gotham Green made changes to the company's credit facilities, and they took majority control of the company's board. If that wasn't enough, Cohen and Company piled on as analyst Vivian Azer questioned the company's cost-cutting goals. Seems it's a moving target. Hexo stock took another beating. Uh, last week, they announced layoffs. This week, they reported earnings of $15.4 million versus last year's $13 million. But they delivered a net loss increase that went up over 400%, coming in at $56 million for the quarter versus last year's net loss of $10 million for the same time period. The company also lowered guidance, citing lower-than-expected store rollout across Canada and lower sell-through. Well, let's just keep going with the bad news. Diana Med is headed for bankruptcy, or as the Canadians call it, receivership. The company couldn't pay the $24 million that its creditors were demanding, and yep, the fat lady began to sing. The bear market forced Cura Leaf to change its deal with Cura Partners. The share amount that was in the deal was cut by half, and any additional shares will be payable upon the company meeting certain sales target goals. Wasn't all terrible this week. There was some positive news. Liberty Health Sciences reported revenue of $10 million versus last year's $2 million for the same time period. And net income, yes, net income, not a net loss, net income of $22 million over last year's net loss of $5.6 million. The company 1906 raised $18 million in a round led by Navy Capital, and General Cannabis bought a dispensary in Boulder. Finally, presidential candidate in Vermont, Senator Bernie Sanders, released his plan for legalizing cannabis. He said he will remove cannabis from the Controlled Substances Act and expunge all past convictions. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report.